Hello, it's the 2nd of June 2014, which means I am now 11 months on testosterone. Okay, so what's happening this month? Well, in for, for 15 days, I'm going to have top surgery, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. But it's strange, it's thrown up lots of um, feelings that I didn't expect. Um, I, I seem to have gone back to um, thinking about when they first started growing and um, thinking about when I had children and it's just thrown up lots of stuff which I have successfully put out of my head for so many years. It's sort of reminded me that I'm female bodied and quite often I get, I, I am able to ignore that now. Um, but yeah, the thoughts, it's sort of getting me more in touch with my body, which is not all that good. I'm sure in 17 days time, I will be ecstatically in touch with my body. But at the moment, it's just causing me um, emotional pain. <laughs> uh, so I'm not 100% mentally sound at the moment. <laughs> Am I ever? <laughs> um, Okay, so other ex more interesting things. My hair has grown tremendously on my belly. I, it's just like it never was ever um, not hairy. And I've noticed that um, there is a bigger collection of belly button fluff. Um, I, I have to sort of clean it out. This is probably too much information. I have to clean it out regularly and, and that never used to happen before I was ha um, hairy. So it must be something to do with the hairs sort of funneling all the fluff down towards your belly button. Um, my pee has also changed smell. Definitely changed smell. It's, a, it's sort of sweeter and definitely more powerful more of a smell than, than I had before. Uh, my corners are definitely evading. Uh, I'm not bothered, I really not bother. My, my, I don't care if I go completely bald um, because I've I pretty much lasted longer than most men at my age. So, you know, if I lose my hair in the next couple of um, years, it's fine. I don't think I will because I've got really thick hair, but definitely these corners are getting um, further back. Um, I've been able to start wearing shorts. Uh, I've always wanted to wear shorts. I wore shorts as a kid. Um, and then when, when I grew up and I had incredibly hairy legs, so I either had to shave my legs in order to wear shorts or not shave my legs and not wear shorts and I very rarely shave my legs I, I hated doing it. Um, it, it it just didn't feel right um, but of course then you can't as a female bodied person wear shorts because people just give you filthy looks now suddenly at last I can actually wear shorts um, now all I need is a bit of summer weather, which we don't get very much of in Britain. Um, I'm hoping that, that it'll get more and more sunny. I think I've worn my shorts three days now, and we're on the 2nd of June. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's Britain for you. Um, it's never hot enough. The most important thing that's happened this month is that I've finally been allowed to do my testosterone shots at home. Um, American guys watching this will probably be laughing, but it's been such a massive deal to my poor doctors. Um, first of all, because it's an IM injection, intermuscular. If it was a sub-Q, they wouldn't have had a problem. Diabetics, they teach them and they send them home with needles and that's fine but for some reason the IM injections are so much harder um, I don't think they are but <laughs> they seem to have a worry so it had to go to committee at the doctor's practice uh, they didn't come up with a definite decision 
so they had to go back to my um, consultant um, and obviously the consultant is is gender clinic specialist and, and knows that it's okay uh, so eventually he said yes but then still the doctors weren't that happy so I still then had to do three injections in the doctor's surgery before I was allowed to take them home finally I was allowed to take it home and last week I did it for the first time on my own at home um, it's brilliant it's it's very empowering not to have to make an appointment to go into the doctors to do it to just know that you've got it at home and you can um, plan to have it to do it a little bit more relaxed than the sort of rushness of doing it in the doctor's surgery and then going off to work um, I can do it over night time and just you know it, it's much nicer however to be honest it is throwing up a lot of um, addiction issues now as you know I'm I'm an alcoholic um, and I've never I've never dabbled in drugs however as generally because I've never had the chance to I if it would if it had been offered me or if it had been easier to get hold of I am pretty certain I would have become um, a needle drug user and I'm having those sorts of thoughts at the moment um, and it's it's come as a surprise really um, and I'm craving more extra shots and and drugs than I am alcohol but then of course my fallback is alcohol and what with you know the sort of surgery coming up and and the childhood issues coming up and the body dysmorphia coming up and um, all that stuff it's it's cravings are quite strong at the moment and not necessarily for alcohol but for something to just give me a head head holiday um, and just and and I I'm going to stay strong obviously I have to. Um, but it's not got any easier since last month um, but I've only got 15 more days till surgery so then I've got that to think about um, so this time next month A I will be mammary gland um, free I will have a nice new chest and B I won't hopefully have all of this stuff coming up I'll have better things to think about. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's been a a tough month. Um, transition is never always easy. I wouldn't change it for the world. But, you know, I'm 80% happier than I was. And even the down days are nowhere near as bad as the down days before. Um, I it was still definitely the right decision to transition um, regardless of what comes up it's still the right decision and I wouldn't have changed that so I will endeavour to be happier next month <laughs> uh, I'll probably give you an update on my surgery before next month but anyway next month will be a whole year wow a whole year of testosterone it's gone quite quickly Right, I will leave it there. Bye.